a C7 lens scaffold is a very useful device in situations where there is a PCR with a residual nuclear material. The chances of this nuclear material dropping into the vitreous is very high and an interior segment surgeon is always worried about this eventuality because then he would need the help of a vitreoretina specialist. So here we have what is called a C7 lens scaffold. This is loaded into any IUL cartridge and injected into the eye through a normal 2.8 millimeter incision in such a way that it opens up over the iris. Once it has opened up, as you see in this video, the nuclear pieces are guided over the lens scaffold. An interior chamber maintainer maintains the IOP at 30 at all times and now with routine FACO under low IOP conditions the nuclear pieces are comfortably removed without any fear of the debris falling into the vitreous. Some epinuclear material or thick cortical material can also be guided over the trough of this lens scaffold and removed. And once this job is done, the lens scaffold can be held by any forceps and removed from the eye. The ACM maintains the chamber while we remove by bimanual IE system the residual cortical matter first from the area which is distal to the PC rent. Check with in alone, all clear. We continue with our cortex removal and then we finally come to the area of the rent. Since there is no vitreous in the AC, we continue with our IEA system and remove the last pieces of the cortex and as you see the chamber is dead stable because of the interior chamber maintainer at all times even when you remove the IA system check no vitreous it's time to insert a three piece IOL in the sulcus so the hydro insertion First over the iris and then dialed under the iris into the sulcus. In this particular video, we left it as such and did not do an optic capture. 